What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is PNWRC Madness, and I get a lot of questions about how do you install the PNWRC Madness HD carbon fiber lipo trays. Well, I'm building a new XRT right now, so let me show you how to do it. You're gonna get two trays uh, specific to your truck, XRT or XMAX. The trays are four millimeters thick. They do accept two straps per tray, and I also have spare straps on my website listed separately one per. Anyways, the trays don't come with a drill bit, so you're gonna have to have a drill bit. I just use the drill bit that comes with the GPM kit. It works perfect. So first thing you're gonna do, grab your trays, stick them inside your chassis. Uh, I went a little OCD. I'm building this for a customer, so I got it perfectly spaced around inside the tray. This one has no foam, but if you do have foam in your chassis, um, it's gonna fit nice and snug, and then you can just center it front to back. So go ahead, lay it in the truck. I, I like to use double back tape, that way it doesn't shift around. Go ahead, get your drill, super simple. I already did this, guys, so I'm just gonna mock it up what I did. So go ahead, drill through. Drill through the chassis. All right, go ahead. Next. All right, now because you have double back tape, next thing you're gonna do, go ahead, after you got your holes drilled, you can see Okay, you can see on the bottom. So check it out, you got your holes drilled to come through the bottom. Get yourself some sort of pry bar. There's my all infamous pry bar I love to use on everything. Break that double back tape loose. Guys, you don't have to put the double back tape if you don't want to, but that just ensures a nice fit. All right, go ahead, get the double back tape off. Empty out the shavings. We're not doing this to really stick these washers to the chassis, but next thing, go ahead, clean off where you're going to put your washers. Use some Cal RC Moo Clean. Spray a little on the rag. This is just gonna kinda help secure the washers. Next step, next step I like to set up my battery straps uh, per my batteries. So I like to take the battery strap and the buckle. You're gonna want the logo to be facing same direction on both straps as far as the big one and then the little one I'll show you that one in a minute go ahead run it through be easy not to tear up your velcro all right and then you're going to have the smooth side facing up okay and this is how I set my length for my straps. These straps work on most all batteries, from the big ones to the small ones. And these are the batteries I like to use. I believe there are, I believe these are like 54 millimeters tall. So take that just like this. And guys, I've never had a problem with my batteries. And these are actually, well, these are just over a year old right now. And I bash these all the time. So take that, put it in the truck, and I like to just pull it so I can put my strap right underneath, right there. So it's just barely above the top of the battery, okay? So take your next one, take your short strap. This is a 260 millimeter strap. And guys, you might have to adjust these, you know, once you get your batteries all settled up, but um, you should be just fine. And I like to take this one from the inside of the truck, holding it just like it's gonna go inside the chassis. Doesn't really matter which one you do first. I always do the long one first. And then guys, I lay this in the chassis and I like to pull this strap so that it is right, so the, the bottom of the top of the metal buckle is right above the plate right here or wherever you have it situated in your truck. That way you can just slide the strap right over the top, right there over the ESC tray. All right, so once you got that set, go ahead, grab your buckles, keep them where, where you have them kind of lined up, and then just kind of pull, pull on them, snug them up a little bit. It'll kind of create like a little bend in the buckle, bend them around so they don't move. And then the next step, take your provided aluminum washers. We're almost done, guys. Take yourself some shoe goo. And I just like to put a little bit on here. Guys, this is, the easiest way I found doing it. After you've drilled the chassis, it creates a burr, so go ahead, lay that down right over that burr. 
You can do this with super glue, probably. I'd, super glue doesn't stick to aluminum very well. This just kind of holds it in place while we're trying to get this together. All right, so, and it's not like super important how much you get on there, just a little bit, to kind of cushion it to stay. We're gonna do this live, and I'm gonna try not to edit it after I get the last one glued down. Just a little bit. All right, you can see they're kind of staying in place just like that, that's what we want. All right, next thing you're gonna do, just go ahead and make sure that you're kind of centered up. Your straps are centered up, centered up. That way you're not messing with the washers. Make sure you're facing the right direction. Go ahead, lay your strap and plates down. And then you should be able to just line up and put the screws in. This is the part where it is a little bit tricky. You just take your time you be able to get them all. So let's let's do this uh, in live time. So we got one in. I can see that one's sitting good. We got two in. See that one's sitting good. This is not going too bad. Sometimes I got to take. Up oh, there's three, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and oh no, the fourth one moved, so that's okay. We can still get it because the strap's kind of holding it in place down there. Just take your time. There it is. It kind of went back into place, <laughs> just like that actually. Sometimes you have to take another tool. There we go. All right, guys, so they're all in place. Next thing you're gonna do, just go ahead, flip it over, flip the truck over, use the provided lock nuts, the nylon lock nuts. And you can use Cal RC Loctite, IC lock if you would like, but I've never had a problem uh, with any of these lock nuts falling off. It looks like we lost one screw. One is barely hanging on. <laughs> Let's get these two down. All right, we might edit a little bit of this because this is taking a second. Maybe not. All right, so there we go. We still got both screws. Nice. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, tighten these down. So I'm not sure how long that was. That was probably about 10 minutes max per side. So probably take you half an hour to do it. Take your time when you're drilling it, all that good stuff, maybe 45 minutes. And then last thing I do is I screw these down and I don't, I don't really like suck them down super tight. I just tighten them down to where the 14 millimeter flathead is actually just almost through the other side of the nylon lock nut. And then guys, you're not gonna have to worry about losing your batteries. And so far, so, so far in the last, I've been selling these for three years now, maybe four, I've had one set that I had to warranty. Uh, I'm not sure why exactly it wasn't defective. They didn't break, um, but I haven't had anybody show me they broke a strap yet. Um, so yeah, we pulled the car with them. And yeah, guys, please do subscribe. And there we go. Love you all, thanks for watching. Have a great day, great week, and I will catch you guys all later.